Let me tell you, we've got quite some exciting dishes being served today. This was probably one of the best meals I've had in a long time. But they are. So I also just received uh, the amenity kit. We have quality meat here. This is a very decent amenity kit. I would definitely fly for looking at us again. So hello and welcome to another flight review and today is a very special day. I'm very excited because I'll be flying Philippine Airlines on their brand new Airbus 321neo. Um, everybody know, who knows me knows that I'm a big fan of every uh, narrow body airplane with a proper business class. So we can compare this product probably to the Fly Dubai 737 MAX which I flew earlier this year or Qatar Airways Airbus A320. Um, but yeah, I flew yesterday on Philippine Airlines in their premium economy on their Airbus A350, which was a wonderful flight. And um, after this, I'm gonna uh, take you around the lounge here at Manila Terminal um, 2. Uh, but then I'm very excited to fly to Sydney on that brand new 321, which I'm sure is going to be a very interesting experience. And I can't wait to introduce that product to you guys. So now let's go to the lounge and then find out what Philippine Airlines Airbus 321 Neo is all about. So I also got to check out the Mabuhay Lounge at Manila International Airport. And while the lounge is a little bit outdated, the stuff was incredibly nice, very accommodating, with massive huge smile on their face. Really loved it. And this is the business class on the Airbus 321neo, 12 seats in total which go completely flat in a 2-2 configuration and 156 seats in economy class all with personal entertainment and the noticeable thing in the cabin is that the lavatories are actually located in the middle of the cabin which makes it so much more convenient for travelers in economy class. as well as this very fluffy pillow. The menu, the business class menu, and uh, I'm gonna talk you through this menu later when the food is served, but um, let me tell you, we've got quite some exciting dishes being served today. So I also just received uh, the amenity kit. Uh, we're gonna have a closer look what's inside this one um, in a little bit, but now let me give you a little tour of uh, this seat. So the Airbus 321 comes with 12 seats in uh, business class in a 2-2-2 configuration. Um, each seat goes completely flat and then you have uh, the economy class. So there's no premium economy class um, on this aircraft. Screen right in front of you, which it has a touchscreen function, but you can also operate it by uh, using the remote control. Then you have some storage space here. Um, 
the, the foldable table is just kept here. Uh, here are the seat controls where you can uh, control the seat, you can go completely flat or put it. All right, beautiful, thank you. I also just uh, received a pair of slippers. The magazines, safety card, all these kind of magazines are kept here. Um, we also have a power outlet, so two uh, universal power outlets, so it doesn't matter where you're from, they're all going to fit. And also when you go flat, there's a reading light behind uh, the seat. And yeah, this is, this is, this is pretty much uh, Philippine Airlines uh, brand new business class on their Airbus 320neo. Also the crew is super, super nice. And also there's one thing um, I want to show you now. You can connect to the in-flight Wi-Fi and uh, it comes free of charge, so it's included. So every passenger on this flight can use the Wi-Fi uh, free of any costs. Yeah, just leave it there. Thank you. So and as I said, uh, you also be given uh, noise cancelling headphones. So and this is what they, pretty much what they look like. You get the Philippine Airlines logo in here. Um, Going to try later what are they noise cancelling. So as you can see, the main course just arrived and um, there was steak on the menu today, so I thought I'm going to give this one a try. Let's see what it tastes like though, because every time you order steak on a, on a plane, it's sometimes it tends, it tends to be very tender. Uh, this one looks very well done, but um, I'm going to try it right now and see what it tastes like. So let's see how well done or not the steak may be but from from its texture it actually feels pretty nice not too bad it's actually very nice it's some real quality meat here so it's not such some cheap stuff and this is actually pretty nice i like that one thing i've noticed is um that there is no salt and pepper on the whole setup you get butter you get the bread but um, something there is missing, which is actually very essential, is the pepper and the salt. However, it doesn't take anything away from how good that steak is. Unfortunately, I'm not a big fan of broccoli, so <laughs> I won't touch that. I can't give you feedback on that because I simply just don't like it. Catering out of Manila, very good, very nice. So while I'm enjoying my ice cream, let me share with you guys that this was probably one of the best meals I've had in a long time. The crew was extremely efficient, very nice. Uh, I finished my entree and uh, as soon as I did, they brought my mind. Um, now I'm going to have my coffee and uh, so far I'm really enjoying my Philippine Airlines experience. Um, it's more than I expected. I had very low expectations, but uh, let me tell you. So far, I'm pretty impressed. The inside entertainment was rather average. However, if you are a James Bond fan, let me tell you that every James Bond movie ever made was available on this flight. So now let's see what we have inside this amenity kit and uh, in order to show it to you properly 
let's get the table out. So you get this beautiful foldable table here as well, which you can adjust as well. Just like this. And now let's see uh, what we have inside here. We have um, body lotion. We've got a bottle of cologne. The last time I've seen cologne in a amenity kit was like five, four years ago on Qatar Airways uh, 350, just when they put that 350 in service. So we've got a little bottle here. Socks and eye shades, as well as a toothbrush for toothpaste and a comb, which I probably won't need. Of course, the old time classic lip balm. I noticed there are no earplugs which is interesting. Maybe you get them from the crew, but I'll find out. But look at this beautiful pouch. This is really nice. Definitely gonna keep this one. Yeah, but so far it's an, it's an actually really nice uh, amenity kit. Sometimes I like when you have facial mist in there because I'm a big fan of that. And it's like always very refreshing um, after having a sleep a nice sleep on the airplane. Uh, there's nothing better than facial mist. Um, however, this is a very decent amenity kit and uh, I like the pouch. It looks very classy and it just completes the overall product here. Also, the seat goes completely flat, extremely comfortable. I had a great, great sleep. Approximately an hour before descending into Sydney, um, the second meal service would start and I was served an omelette with rice and a fruit platter. So let me sum up my experience traveling Philippine Airlines and I was pleasantly surprised. Two days ago I started in London uh, on the 350 premium economy, had a 12 hours layover in Manila in about half an hour I'm about to touch down in Sydney and I loved it. It's a great way to travel from Europe to Australia, a great alternative and the thing that stood out the most was probably the crew and the beautiful stuff at Manila Airport. Everybody was so kind and they handled everything with a huge smile on their face. And also the Airbus A321, the Neo, is a beautiful, beautiful product. So just turn off the light and there we go. And uh, since they have all those great airplanes joining their fleet, they're going to a great renewal and I love the seat. I love the crew, I love the food. So yeah, I would definitely fly Philippine Airlines again. And like, I'm actually surprised how good they are. So, um, well, um, I hope you liked that video. I hope I made your decision a little bit easier. If you had any concerns flying Philippine Airlines, don't worry, you will be in good hands. Um, so if you liked that video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't yet, and leave a comment uh, in the comment section below and let me know what you think of Philippine Airlines, about their renewal of their fleet, and, uh, and uh, whether you've flown them, what was your experience, would you fly them? Uh, would be nice to get your opinion on that too. All right, so we're descending now into Sydney. Uh, so much, uh, thank you so much for watching, and as always, safe travels.